three days, day three already. We got the mayor of London, Kentucky, with us live right now, Mayor uh, Randall Weddle. Mayor, Mr. Mayor, thank you for coming on. What would you add to what officials said in that news briefing? All I keep hearing is how difficult this terrain is uh, to find anybody. Yeah, it's very dense. Uh, there's a vegetation in that area, and it's a lot of steep cliffs, caves. So it's making it very rough on our first responders that's currently uh, searching in that area. How are the residents doing? I mean, I heard the other day, well, why well, you keep your porch light on, keep your phone charged, that kind of thing, but it's unnerving for people. How are your residents doing? Yeah, so you, a lot of folks, you know, they're, they're, they're scared. Uh, you know, this is a dangerous individual uh, that uh, chose violence, uh, but we're a, uh, a resilient community. We're strong, uh, we're Kentucky strong here. So. While we have a lot of emotions, uh, a lot of it high tension right now in this area, uh, we were reminding people to not uh, allow this to change who we are. And, and let's come together with a message of hope. What are, from your own office, what are you doing to help, if anything? I mean, uh, are you holding events or just basically saying stay inside, keep the doors locked, that type of thing? What's the message for the people? So we are urging people to stay vigilant. Uh, and if, of course, if they're at home to keep their cell phones charged up, keep their doors locked, uh, but to remain vigilant if they're out and about and even around their homes and to call 911 uh, should they suspect uh, anything that law enforcement should know. What have you heard from law enforcement? I mean, day three already, you know, as you said, it's very dense, very hard to find someone. What if they don't for a few more days? What's the plan? Uh, I think everybody's plan right now is that they're confident that we are going to locate him. And I think now with the reward out there, uh, they're more confident now that maybe possibly if somebody has information, they'll come forward. Uh, right now, the plan is just to keep looking for this guy. And uh, I don't think right now anybody has any plans on changing what they're currently doing at this time. $15,000 reward out there, that helps. So it, 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 you might not want to release it publicly yet, but do you have some information that you're not releasing publicly? In other words, is there behind the scenes conversations where some information's coming in, trying to piece it together, or is there any more you could tell us? Um, yeah, I, that I, I, I can't discuss. Uh, law enforcement has a lot of information. Uh, our dispatchers are doing a tremendous job. There's a lot of information pouring into uh, that center. Uh, so, uh, and, and everybody's just doing a tremendous job so here. The tips and that kind of thing, people are, you, you're, you're encouraging people to call in if they think that's they correct. saw anything. So you're going through all of that right now. That's where, that's where the status we're at. That's correct. And then what happens at night, you have to stop. It's You can't really get in there and search at night, right, in that area once it's dark? So they do stop the land search, but we want to let everybody know there's still a containment team. There are still forces on the ground there. Okay. Um, it's, a, it's a really tough situation, but, you know, you've made us believe that you're hoping for some sort of a resolution shortly, that you, you think like you're getting there to, at this point. So the people in the town are just going to work and for the most part, doing their day-to-day -day lives as they've been going about life. Yeah, you know, there, there's a lot of challenges here, obviously. There's a lot of emotions, but yes, we're trying to get people to have a, hmm. some normalcy uh, with this being such a, an intense situation. It's, it is rough, it is hard on the entire community and the surrounding communities. But yes, we're, we're trying to get there. We're trying to get people, but there is a lot of businesses closed. There's a lot of individuals that decide they didn't want to be open uh, with this current situation. Yeah. Uh, we are encouraging people to try to get back to some normal life. That makes sense that people would make that decision for themselves. All the numbers on the screen, in case anybody knows anything or seen anything or heard anything. Any reason, by the way, Mr. Mayor, we'll let you go here in a minute to, to believe that this suspect is not alive at this point? No, we don't know. Um, okay. you know. There's a lot of speculation, but we don't know. And we would also like to just thank you and all the media that is helping us get out the factual information, because that's important. A lot of disinformation on social media. So news sources like you and all of our local news sources, uh, you know, we are very thankful for all you guys. We'll stay on top of it. Thanks for uh, coming on with us for a few minutes today. And um, we'll be in touch as this develops. Uh, the mayor of London, uh, Kentucky is that town, that manhunt, day three. Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.